Hello, in this video uh, we will be uh, working on G67 8.2 AV2 distributing and solving two steppers. Uh, if I remember right, there's some kind of weird answers here. We might have some zeros. Uh, okay, so we'll start off by the first thing we have to do is we have to distribute. So 2 times the negative 6 would be negative 12, and there's an x attached. And then we've got 2 times 5, which is 10. That's a positive 10, because it's a positive times a positive, and that equals 70. All right, so this is two-step equation time. And the railroad tracks out. First of all, I'm going to subtract 10 from this side. I'm going to subtract 10 from this side. These cross off. I've got minus 12x equals 60. Now I'm going to divide by negative 12 on both sides. That's going to get me a positive x equals not 4, 5. Is it positive or negative? And it's a negative here because you've got a positive divided by a negative. It's just, this is just one of the things you have to just start doing from here on out. You're always checking if your answers are positive or negative because there's a a 50-50 chance you've missed something. Okay, let's distribute here. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. That's a negative 18. This is one negative symbol. 6 times 5, that's going to be 30x. And it's going to be a positive because it's a negative times a negative. And that equals 282. Let me get my two-steppers bracket set up here. So let's add 18 to both sides to get rid of that 18. Those cross off. Now you have 30x equals 300. You divide by 30 to isolate that x. You got x equals, well, it's 10. 300 divided by 30 is 10. It's 10. It's 10. Sorry, this being weird. It's like my. 10th video I've made this in a row, so. Getting a little punchy. A little charge punch. Alright. Uh, it's actually a cross between Mr. Rogers and George Bush, I think. Okay, let's, uh, uh, let's try 9 here. We distributed out. I'm an old man. I'm still putting in my arrows. 3 times 5 is 15x. Yep, it's positive. Everything's positive here. 3 times 1 is 3, and it equals a negative 12. Where we got a negative? So now I'm going to subtract 3. Subtract 3 to get rid of that. Get my zero tracks going here. My 3's cross off. I've got 15x equals negative 15. This looks like 1. Divided by 15. The x's cross off. 15 divided by 15 is 1. So you just have x equals it's 1 as a negative 1 because it's negative 15 divided by 15. You're like, I don't believe it. Go in and check it. 3 times, this is me, well, you put the, this in, be 5 times a negative 1 plus 1 equals negative 12. So, well, negative 5, uh, 5 times negative 1 is going to be negative 5 plus 1. That's going to be negative 4. 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12. So you can always, always check your answers on these. All right, I'll do one more. Leave you 16 to do the homework with this guy right here, number 10. Um... Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and it's a negative times a positive, so it's a negative 9. 3 times 4 is 12, there's an x attached, it's a negative times a negative, so that's a positive 12x, and that equals 123. Alright, so we're going to subtract 12. Oops. Get that mouse a little bit, folks. 
subtract, I'm going to add 9. What I'm doing here, too many videos. So I have 12x equals, well, this is going to end up being, looks like 132. Because if it was 123 plus 10, it would be 133. So plus 9 will be 132. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. Put my railroad tracks in. Uh, I believe that's 11. Let me just check. Yep, that just shows 11. And then I'll pop it in just to make sure. I made it three times. That's three minus four times eleven equals one twenty-two. Well, four times eleven this is going to be forty-four minus forty-four. Three minus forty-four. That's going to be minus forty-one. If you take that times a negative 3, you do have 123. Okay, there you go. Good luck on solving the rest of those. The last 16 are all yours.